Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, I'm back again with another unique Korean style hot sauce to review for you guys. Now, I just love it when I can get a hold of a Korean style product, Korean style hot sauce, uh, because as many of you know that my wife, Myung, is Korean. We've been married for uh, 38 years now, and so we know the flavors of Korea. And so I'm always really excited to uh, get a hold of a new product like this. Now here's one that I'm really excited to uh, bring to you guys today. This is K-Pop Sauce. Check that out from K-Pop Foods in Los Angeles, California. This is a brand new uh, Korean chili sauce from K-Pop. All right, check out that bottle. Nice looking cool label. It looks like something from uh, those uh, Batman comic strips, doesn't it? All right, it says right here on the side, it says the sweet and tangy with a kick Korean chili sauce. Now, I'm going to read a little bit about them uh, from their website, but this product was sent to me from two young guys, uh, Theo Lee and Mike Kim. There they are right there um, in the front row in the middle. That is Theo Lee, and uh, on his right is uh, Mike Kim, both co-founders. It says, growing up as Korean Americans, we were each fortunate to have families that loved and celebrated Korean food. Our family members would spend endless amounts of time preparing every meal, whether it was for two or 20 people. Every meal was special. Every meal was a celebration. You know, that is true. At UCLA, we became good friends through a mutual love for Korean food and soju, of course. All right. Uh, we shared our passion with new friends who soon became obsessed with the flavors and experience of eating Korean food. Understanding that our friends loved Korean food as much as we did, we created K-pop foods to spread Korean food and flavors to America and promote the experience of bringing people together and having fun. Thank you for being part of the K-pop family. Goombay, cheers. Mike and Theo, founders of K-pop foods. Now, I want to share something with you guys before we get into the sauce. Um, what is a necessity in Korean cooking that produces that good flavor and is what is uh, really what the sauce is made with and all about is gochujang. That is, uh, here's a, a store-bought brand that we love. We like to get the, the real hot kind. Uh, gochujang is the uh, fermented, uh, funky, uh, red pepper um, Korean chili paste. And this is what it looks like here. Just some yummy goodness right there. Now this is um, a necessity in Korean cooking. You have got to have uh, gochujang, uh, but just love it. Of course, with soy sauce and sesame and garlic and ginger and scallions. That that's the flavors of uh, uh, Korean food. But let's go ahead and get into this one. Um, now, I'm not going to read all of these ingredients on this one uh, because it's uh, rather uh, uh, a lot. So let me just start to start off by saying it's made with gochujang hot pepper paste. Uh, and then let's see. Let's also, I could say it's made with um, uh, soy seasoning, uh, garlic juice, lime juice, soy sauce. Um, it's got a little bit of a preservative, a sodium, sodium benzoate, and water and sugar. So it's got the main uh, focus of this particular sauce is that it's made with gochujang. It's got soy sauce in there. It's sweetened up with a little bit of sugar. Uh, it's got some, uh, you know, garlic in there. It's got some lime juice in there as well. But uh, check this color out, guys. I mean, this is what you want to see with a Korean style uh, chili sauce. Nice and fairly thick, but really really dark red color. Now I believe that uh, there's a funny video on the website, you gotta check it out, where uh, uh, Theo is talking, Theo Lee, and uh, I believe that this recipe, he says, is based on a secret recipe from his grandmother, which is just awesome. All right, well let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna go ahead, it's got one of these flip top tops on it like this, which makes it pretty easy to get to, nice squeezable bottle, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and let's talk about the aroma here. Okay, now one thing I get right off the bat is you get gochujang. You get that funky fermented uh, red pepper paste, which I just love. Now I'll go ahead and say this right off the bat. If you don't 
or if you haven't experienced Korean food or you don't really um, have never tasted Korean flavors and maybe all you've ever had is sriracha, then this may take you by surprise. You might uh, have to get used to it for a little bit. It may take you back, you know, um, because it's really, really strong with the gochujang. You gotta love the Korean uh, flavor of that funky fermented red pepper paste. It's got a little bit of a um, some kind of tanginess to it as well, but it's really strong, rich, thick up front uh, with the gochujang. Get a little bit of a uh, garlic, garlic in it as well. And I think just a little bit kind of the soy flavors are added. Now there's a lot of different uh, Korean chili sauces out there. I like a lot of different ones. I, I really like them all. Um, not all kimchi is the same. Not all Korean chili sauces are the same. Not all gochujang is the same. Some are hotter than others. So there's different ways. It just depends on your taste. But if you love gochujang, um, I think you're really going to love this. And if you haven't tried it, you know, gochujang is, is, is got more character than sriracha. I'll put it that way. But it's just, just awesome. All right, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and... Show you how it squeezes out on the spoon. I'm shaking it up quite a bit here. As you can see, it's pretty thick. Nice, thick, and rich. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. Now, this one <clears throat> comes across as really, really rich and robust with the gochujang flavor. A little bit more so than a lot of other ones that I've tried out there. Um, I like different ones. I like um, Korean chili sauces that are that are kind of cut a little bit more, maybe with a little bit more vinegar, or a little more tanginess from vinegar, a little more thinned out a little bit. Um, this one is really, really rich and thick and upfront with that rich gochujang flavor, which is really good. You get a little bit of sweetness from the sugar that's added. You get that tanginess, just like they say, I guess, from the lime. Um, then you get the bite of those, uh, you know, those Korean red chili peppers, probably around the same heat level as your average sriracha. But really, really awesome Korean flavors, rich, robust, in-your-face gochujang uh, flavors. Now, let me show you what I put this on, guys. Well, before I do, let me show you. They sent this card right here. And uh, it says, uh, put it on burritos, burgers, pizza, tacos, hot dogs, eggs, chicken, beef, pork, fish, sashimi, and rolls, and more. Also use as a veggie dip, salad dressing, marinade or glaze, meats, poultry, fish. Uh, yeah, mix this up with mayonnaise. Um, use it as a marinade. Use it in place of ketchup. Put it straight on your eggs. Put it on your burgers. Put it on your pizza. I've tried that and it's really, really good. But uh, here's a picture of uh, I made some uh, uh, fried rice, beef and broccoli fried rice. Not beef and broccoli, but fried rice with beef and broccoli. And I put uh, this K pop sauce on there and it was really, really good. Um, check this company out, guys. Um, I really, really dig this stuff. If you love Korean flavors, you're going to dig it. Um, I would say on heat, I would put this probably. Um, uh, probably a low three, two to three out of ten uh, for me. But the flavor is, is Korea. It's outstanding. Highly recommended. So uh, check this company out, guys. Give them a like on Facebook if you uh, want to check them out. And the website is kpop.com. Kpopfoods.com. I'll put the link down in the description. All right, uh, Theo and Mike, thank you so much for sending it. I really do appreciate it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.